So today, for our uh, tip of the week, I want to review with you managing floor plan uh, displays for elements. This is something that we get questions about quite often, particularly when people are dealing with uh, a multi-plane house or a house on a slope where they want to show, um, you know, uh, two floors um, that are split uh, on the same level. And that's usually an, a, a very often times where they we see that or where you have maybe windows or doors that are, or windows above another window or a door or something like that as well. So uh, what is a floor plan? What is a floor plan display, right? So as I mentioned earlier, when you go to your floor plan display, you're going to have a floor plan display option. And if you select that, you can select, you can set it to be projected, projected with overhead and, and symbolic and overhead all. You also have other options like show projection, entire element, uh, to floor plan range, to absolute display limit, or entire element. And those will show differently, right? So if I were to, for example, show as projected, or excuse me, symbolic, it's going to look like this. If I show overhead all, it's not going to show the cut, it's just going to show what's overhead, right? Uh, and then this also gets influenced by what I set in my floor plan cut plane. Again, if you're not familiar with this, this floor plan cut plane can be um, changed and set by going to your document menu, floor plan cut plane, and it brings up this dialog. The important thing about the floor plan cut plane settings is when I change this, it can this uh, setting can be saved with my view. So for example, typically it's set to four foot cut plane. So that means that if I uh, have my plan, and I want my windows and doors to show as kind of what's typical in architectural workflow is that about three to four feet above is, is where the floor plans cut, and that's usually where your windows and doors are cut. You could change that higher or lower here, depending upon how you want that to show. Um, again, that also is being influenced by these options, right? So with typical walls, right, um, you know, this is kind of our object standard, right, as I was just talking about. Um, if we had slanted walls, we might have some different options here. For example, you know, this might be projected. Projected with overhead for that slanted wall will show slightly different. So again, depending upon how you want to show it with a typical wall, the straight versus one that may be slanted. And then we can also hide high-level windows, so one, windows that are above us, right, by projected with overhead. Um, and that could be a way to hide that cut. And by, you know, setting your um, cut above to show as a current story offset by 9 feet 11, which means it's now not going to show. So, you know, these are different strategies that we could use to actually show those windows at different heights. Now, one of the things that I've recently discovered um, that I think I've, I've actually um, sent this out to a couple of clients because this was posted actually ages ago, but it's actually really quite helpful. Um, and that is this kind of chart that was created to kind of show what happens when you use these different, these different options. Because this is often a question that a lot of people have is, okay, I get confused about what projected means, what symbolic means, and how that relates to all these different settings, right? And so here's a really nice chart of kind of that you may want to print out. Um, you can go to this link if you want to. It's on Archicad Talk. Um, you can just search for this if you don't um, uh, remember it. But this is this is a great uh, chart because what it does is it gives you kind of a clear cut. How is this going to look for different ways that I am going to have right? So like project it with a window cut by floor plan cut plane. Um, project it right, um, and 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 one uh, that is above. The floor plan cut plane. So this is cut by or above the floor plan, right? Cut plane. And so, you know, obviously if this is projected and, and it's above it, it's not going to show. Okay. If I do symbolic cut and it's projected, then you can see it shows here as well. So, you know, this helps you and all of us visualize when we use these different, different settings, depending upon how these settings are used with our um, floor plan cut plane, then that's how it's going to show. So I'd highly recommend this, print this out, have this at your desk. So when you get confused by these different settings, this will help you to kind of understand 
uh, how they're going to use the different um, uh, workflows you might use it for. Uh, and then, you know, your, your floor, your um, wall column and beam displays can also be set, right, with this information. So this is important for those as well. Uh, in terms of managing that information, um, because they will also show on different stories with different information. So when you're managing your floors, kind of that same process, right? Um, so that if you're actually going through this process, you know, and you're cutting not only through the windows and doors, but this is important. This also came from that same chart uh, that was from, um, uh, actually was it from Hills, it's a different chart that I got it from, but this is something you may also want to print out just for your own knowledge. Because um, when you're cutting through the, your windows and doors, it's going to show based on the chart I just showed you. But this is also going to give you a little bit more information about how your windows and doors will show, excuse me, how your walls and columns and beams will show based upon whether they're sloped or straight and how you might want them to show based upon those different conditions. So this is another one I think that's really, really nice to kind of have, um, kind of help you show. Um, with windows and doors, and then for for in, in relationship to relationship to symbolic cut um, and cut planes, as well as uh, your uh, walls, columns, and beams. So hopefully that's helpful in kind of helping you understand these various instances and how that might show um, for projection for the different cut planes.